Okay, so for those of you who may want to not create an animation, but just create some selected frames, um, what you can do is go into your Rhino options and go into those animation settings and change the minutes between frames to be, uh, for example, um, 180. So that would be three hours in between views. And you could start this at 9 a.m. and end it at 6 p.m. And that would give you um, views at 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. And that way you would just have four frames and those frames would be rendered out into a folder and you could then collect those and pop them into Photoshop and just overlay them. So I'm just going to take a few frames from my animation just to demonstrate how you might do that. So um, mine started at 6 a.m. Uh, this was a previous one I did. So every 15 minutes would mean that the hour is on every fourth one. So this would be seven, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So I'm gonna grab the 9 a.m. one. So I can grab these ones and drag them into Photoshop. And then I can just duplicate these into, yeah, I'll duplicate them into here. All right, so if you set all of these layers to multiply, um, you should end up with a sort of multiplicity of dark, or dark areas around the base of the buildings that can show you where there's a concentration of shade throughout the day. Now, I added in this uh, 6 p.m. one and it really just kind of um, overtakes the entire view because the, the image itself is very dark because it's very faint with the sunlight with very long layers. Um, so I decided just to turn that one off and just keep the other layers active. Um, I could probably set this 9 a.m. one just to normal and then just have these ones as multiply. Um, and that way, what you really see is not necessarily the exact sun path all the time, but you see where there is really shady areas, which makes sense on this site. You can see that the, the shade is really on the north side um, going into the west side. So if you're making planting plans, this can be very helpful because you can see you know, where are there sort of regular shady areas that are shady in the evening or the morning? And where are there areas that are shady throughout the day? So that's how you can sort of join up all of your sun studies and put them into one document. Um, again, this isn't a super high quality, but it doesn't really need to be. The purpose of this is not to create a final presentation image, it's just to study the information on the site. So I've done this in about half an hour. Um, and once you get going, I think you could do it a lot quicker um, and you could do this for different points throughout the year so that you fully understand what the growing and shade conditions are on the site.